On April the 14th, 2018, the ATF and FBI received information that Rallo was repeating his trafficking routine, flying by private jet to Sacramento, California, and back in a matter of days, with cops naturally deciding to surveil him. Tracking his cell phone to the infamous Murder Mountain in Humboldt County, the California cannabis growing hotspot made famous by the Netflix documentary of the same name. Clearly, this is where Rallo and his fam goons were sourcing their packages. And when Rallo is leaving Sacramento on the 14th, he's seen on the tarmac with five men and a woman wearing Famerica clothing and loading 17 packages onto the jet. With the wrapping and the size of these packages being suspiciously familiar to the ones that the fam goons were busted with in December 2017. The cops would wait for Rallo's entourage to arrive back in Atlanta on April the 15th, apparently overhearing communications between the plane and the runway requesting that no staff touch packages coming off of the plane. And when that plane does touch down, the cops move in and take eight passengers into custody, with Rallo swinging the jet door shut when he saw the cops and holding himself up in sight. And it turns out apparently the fam goons couldn't even wait to touch down to start smoking, with pilots later reporting that Mary Jane was being smoked mid-flight, and the cops on the runway claimed that they could smell marijuana coming from the plane when it landed. At this point, Rallo refused to comply with the cops' orders, forcing the cops to force entry onto the plane where Rallo was holed up, with the cops even sending in a K-9 unit to secure Rollo, who surrendered upon being face to face with an angry police dog. Once inside, the cops would find 17 packages, each containing 25 pounds of ganja, a total of 444 pounds of weed with an estimated street value of $840,000. Now, nine individuals were arrested at the scene and a full indictment was handed down on April the 17th, 2018. The criminal complaint would outline the case against Rollo and it wasn't looking good. The indictment implicated Rollo alongside his co-defendants in the December 22nd, 2017 17 million dollar marijuana drug bust with the affidavit accusing Rallo of being the leader of Famerica, a criminal street gang, and concluding that Rallo and the fam goons knowingly participated in a conspiracy to distribute a controlled substance. And then the following day, the news of Rallo's arrest would break in numerous media outlets. And soon after the raid of the private jet on the runway, footage would emerge showing police raiding Rallo's compound known as Pakistan. Tonight, a major raid on a Southwest Atlanta home, and we now know that house belongs to an Atlanta rapper named Rallo. Now, witnesses say the feds had that house surrounded. Now, I do know that Rollo was not here at the time of the raid because he's already in jail. The FBI, Homeland Security, Atlanta police surrounded this brick apartment complex on Lucille Avenue in southwest Atlanta. Fox 5 has learned the complex belongs to Terrell Davis, also known as Rollo, an Atlanta rapper. Neighbors say several cars were hauled off, including a yellow Lamborghini. Rollo wasn't here at the time of the raid. He's been in the DeKalb County Jail since Sunday when police arrested him on a criminal conspiracy charge. Wednesday night, DeKalb police told us their narcotics unit says the charges against Rallo are now being handled by the ATF because it's a federal case. Making matters much worse, a gun would then be found in Rallo's home. The news would continue reporting the details that Rallo has been named as the leader of the Famerica gang. An Atlanta rapper accused tonight of leading a gang that was allegedly caught trying to move nearly $2 million worth of pot through Metro Atlanta. And now, criminal complaint alleges the rapper who's called this apartment complex in Atlanta home, a complex just raided yesterday, is the leader of a gang referred to as Famerica, a name Rallo regularly uses to refer to his music team. And at this point, things were not looking good for Rallo and the other fam goons. Yet only the day after this bust, Rallo would release the recklessly titled compilation album, 12 Can't Stop Shit. The project came with a cover art featuring Rallo quite literally giving the middle finger to the cop and the project itself had a selection of some of Rollo's biggest songs and features of his career. Clearly, while Rollo was in jail, his team were on the outside getting busy and trying to keep things moving. Following the raid on Pakistan, Rollo's manager Queen would come out to suggest that she believed Rollo was being targeted simply due to his lyrics and that he plans to plead not guilty. Rollo's manager Queen is brought to tears. She says sometime next week, 23-year-old Rollo will plead not guilty to the charges brought against him. He's facing several allegations and was arrested last weekend at PDK after police found marijuana in the cargo area. The criminal complaint says he's the leader of a gang called Famerica. His manager wants to clear that up. And what is Famerica? Famerica is the record label that Rollo started. Um, he started that so that he'll be able to sign artists. He signed himself. The sad part is that I don't understand why when black people come together, it can be considered a game. Just because I love my brother and I want to be around my brother, why is that a game? He has been targeted because of his song, because of his lyrics, because of his faith. 
his Instagram is also mentioned in the complaint documents. Mm -hmm. um, what was your reaction when you saw that they actually quoted an Instagram caption? I mean, everybody knows that Instagram is for entertainment. I mean, how many people that you know put on a show for Instagram? Everyone. Rallo would initially attempt to get bailed, but he would be denied when the cops accused him of continuing to run his drug empire from behind bars. It's a real-life crime drama. Famous Atlanta rapper Rallo is just minutes from being released on bail when shocking new evidence keeps him behind bars. Evidence that prosecutors say shows the rapper is still running a drug empire from behind bars. Prosecutors read a series of cryptic handwritten notes that they say they found in a purse that belonged to Rallo's girlfriend. In those notes, prosecutors say were instructions from the rapper Rallo telling others how to run his business while he's locked up. So Rallo would remain stuck in jail, but at least he would continue to release music and videos from inside. For example, on June the 7th, 2018, Rallo would drop a music video for his cop-hating anthem, 12 Can't Stop Shit. And this would come along with an intro featuring earlier footage of Rallo abusing Atlanta cops for not having as much money as him after he was pulled over in his Lambo that time. It also featured lots of B-roll of him performing in an aircraft hangar surrounded by private planes, you know, the things he uses to smuggle packs. And the music video also featured an outro where Rallo is taken away in a cop car, you know, that thing that happened as a result of his crimes. He <laughs> like it. On May the 9th, 2018, Rallo would appear in a phone-in interview with 11 Alive News, where he explains he believes he was wrongfully targeted. A chance to share his side of the story. I feel like they kind of wrongfully targeted me. They let me know that social media is probably one of the strongest things in our lives right now. Prosecutors are using his social media posts and captions against him, something his attorneys argue is just for entertainment. And I realized how big I was and how powerful I was. And like, I had to know whatever I say, they're gonna follow me and people gonna take it in very hard. So we gotta be careful what we say. Cause people gonna follow whatever we say. And if we say something wrong, then we'll lead people in the wrong direction. I mean, I'm very appreciative everything that everybody done for me. Like, no drugs was ever sold at my apartment complex. Like, all the cars and stuff that I bought, like, none of them was for me. That was for my family. I save all my money. I put my money into my property. I put my money into my people. But wrongfully accused or not, Rallo would be stuck in jail for quite some time, spending several years inside, awaiting developments in his case, with the outcome in the end ultimately being a significant L for Rallo.